Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I'm your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what your guides want you to know. So this is going to be a daily insight message where I just find a an excerpt that I'm led to by the spirit guides that is going to lead into our message for today. So give me just one minute. Okay, I'm back. So let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. All right. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope and pray that you are getting something positive, uplifting, or some type of enlightenment from the message. If not this one, then any of my other videos. If you are returning and a continued subscriber and supporter, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here for <clears throat> continuing to support the channel. And I really hope that you are getting your soul and spirit fed every time that you click on my videos. Okay. So, as I'm sitting here, I'm getting a channel message about um, just habits, things that we are doing that God is trying to steer us away from, okay? Now, I'm going to get a random message from here, but as I sat here, God might lead me in a different direction or the message could be tied into this. But uh, God is wanting us to clean it up. You know, the things that we know we need to work on, the things that God has been giving us, those spiritual nudges to either start or stop doing, um, that is the message that's coming through right now. So that could be a side note or it could be tied in. So um, let's be intentional this week and just going forward about these things are not things that you are unaware of. Whatever this is that God is leading me to speak about, it's something that we all are aware that God and our spirit guides, our angels are trying to give us that tap and say, hey, you need to start doing that or hey, you need to stop doing that. So that is what's coming through right now. But let's go ahead and get into this. Most High God, we thank you for another day, another opportunity to learn and grow. I ask that you would please allow the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides of the Highest White Light, Archangels, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light, Divine Ancestors and Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, please come in. Please allow me to be the channel for this message. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most High God, I pray that you would authorize and anoint every word that comes from my mouth. Please allow Archangel Michael to be present to protect our energy and close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Please and thank you. Ashe. All right. So let's see. Spirit guides, ancestors, and angels, please guide me to the message that we need for our highest good today. Okay. An exercise in understanding yourself. What words do you need to hear right now? Write them down. What do you love about who you are? write it down what lessons have you learned from the challenges you've overcome keep writing confirmation you have the power to give yourself what you need in any moment remind yourself of your own resilience greatness and power who better to teach you how extraordinary you are than you okay so that is the message that they want us to focus on today. So journaling, 
is going to be very important for us this coming week. Um, and this also ties into the pre-channel message about habits, what to start doing and stop doing, okay? So if the Most High has been guiding you to journal or write something down or get organized in some way about speaking positivity into yourself, um, listing the things that you love about yourself, some of us need to really take heed to that and start actually writing these things down so that we have a visual of who we are in our own eyes okay um also the things that we may not like about ourselves the habits that we need to break let's be intentional about writing those things down it's something about writing it okay it's like an activation or um, acknowledgement that something clicks, okay? If you see on paper, I need to start walking for an additional 30 minutes a day, or I need to start reading for an additional 30 minutes a day, okay? I need to meditate for an additional 10 minutes and 30 minutes a day. If you see that written down on paper, it gives you, um, it makes something click to make you really want to get on it because you're constantly seeing it and reading it. So I think that that does very well tie into the the message that we had uh, at the start of the read about um, starting and stopping these things that we need to do that we know God is urging us to do or to change or to implement these different things. So definitely get yourself a journal if you haven't already and start writing these things down um the things that you want to do the things that you want to accomplish um uh, things that you want to stop doing goals you want to reach okay these types of things are important all right so let's see what's what this message is about today we're gonna pull some cards Okay, I just saw trust and comfort here. Okay. So, with comfort, I feel it's easy to get caught up in the same habits, routine of doing things a certain way. Maybe you don't feel confident or trust that the Most High is going to remove these things or add these things to your life. Okay. So, that is why I feel like we need to be intentional about uh, going about these things with writing them down. There really is something. I mean, I literally have post-its everywhere to remind me to do different things. And it really does help. Um, so let's see. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. Okay, yeah. Reflection. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So God is wanting us to just, just do some introspection. Okay, we have fear. Okay, some of, there may be some things that you are. I'm just hearing afraid of change. Okay, okay, let's see what else, Holy Spirit. But I believe that's why trust came out first. Look at that. I split the deck again on trust. So, yes, Holy Spirit is saying you have to trust in God and trust in yourself and know that whatever this is um, I'm getting a heavy energy right now for some reason okay so there could be something okay they're drawing me into this heart here so this has something to do with some some type of relationship some type of love situation that someone is afraid to leave or change, okay? Okay, there's something or someone that is familiar to you that you're very codependent on, I'm hearing. Peace.
Okay. The guides are giving me something very different with this peace. This is peace as, as in state of mind, peace, tranquility. But they're giving me the word peace, okay, as in pieces, okay. They're saying that you need to heal the broken pieces of yourself. There's pieces of you. You feel broken without this thing or this person, okay? In order for you to be at peace with yourself, we have reflection and peace, okay? You need to heal the broken pieces of yourself, okay? And there's somebody here that feels like without this thing, this person, you will be broken in pieces. What's on the bottom? Rest, okay? The guys are saying this, this needs to stop, to be put to rest. Okay, um, whatever this situation or person is, they're not allowing you to self-reflect, okay? You're very codependent on this person. I feel like it's a person. Yeah, this person could be in and out with ghosts here. This person could be here, there, and everywhere. This person could have ghosted you or continuously ghosted you. And this person doesn't have your best interest. They're also giving me um, some type of addiction. Uh, for This may be for someone else or could very well be for the same person. Yeah, some, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some type of addiction that makes you feel comfortable okay that you feel very weak you continuously surrender to this addiction <sighs> yeah look at this very passionate and hunger the holy spirit is speaking look at this rejection stop disruption okay oh my goodness okay so there's something here that you're doing sporadically okay or there's someone that's ghosting you sporadically with ghosts coming up, it's like it's here and it's there. It's here and it's there. Or it's here and gone, here and gone, okay? So you may be doing this, whatever this addiction is, you may be indulging in this on and off. Thank you, Holy Spirit, okay? This is something that makes you feel comfortable, okay? That gives you some sense of peace, okay? But leaves you in pieces, whatever that is, okay? So they're saying you're co continuously surrendering, falling victim to, okay? That's, that's what they're using, surrender in the sense. Okay, you're letting this take over you. Whatever this addiction is, you have a very strong passion for this person, place, or thing, or strong desire. Hunger is right behind passion. So it's a habit. Since we talked about habits at the, the top of this reading... It's a very strong habit, okay, that is going to eventually disrupt you in a major way, okay? God is wanting you to put this to rest, this habit. This is something that God has been nudging you to stop doing because it's, it's going to cause a lot of disruption for you, okay? So with stop and rejection coming out, this is a very clear message for somebody, there is something or someone you need to stop seeing or some addiction that you have that you really need to work on stopping, okay? There's a lot of messages coming out. So this could be many different types of addictions, okay? Um... I'm seeing alcohol, drugs, okay, content that's not feeding your soul properly, okay? That doesn't mean it has to be something very dark, but it's something that's keeping someone in the mind state of fear. 
somebody's watching a lot of videos about uh, someone trying to to unalive them or some type of karmic uh, somebody's watching a karmic reader okay this is specific for someone and this person is continuously talking about um, I'm hearing the word death wish death threat just that type of energy and while it is good to be aware of these types of things your guides are saying this is putting you in a state of fear okay um, and you need to start feeding yourself with more positive messages and tone down that habit of yours that's watching this type of content okay uh, because it's not it's not really feeding your soul it's not giving you anything positive it's leaving you like worried okay so with movement here next and anger um let me see why is anger here okay thank you holy spirit so first with movement god is wanting us to move away from these habits move away from this okay um there's someone here that's also needing to work on their temper okay or thank you holy spirit fear is right here so for the person that's watching the content that about someone trying to harm you or unalive you someone that has an anger or hatred towards you okay this is putting you in this place of fear god is saying stop it's time to stop watching that type of content start watching things that are going to feed your soul in a positive way that does not mean you don't have to be aware of your surroundings okay but this is going to be successful in creating nightmares for you stress and anxiety for you and it's going to stop your forward movement and ultimately stop your success in whatever it is you want to accomplish okay so this is a pretty clear message about what God is asking of us not just you guys I'm in, I'm putting myself in this as well um what else holy spirit is there anything else here yes okay so they're guiding me to shuffle this we all need to focus on cleansing our energy regularly okay One second, you guys. Okay. So let's work on cleansing our energy regularly. Multiple times a day for some of us. And we have to really be intentional about fighting these energies off, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? <laughs> this is what we started with when we first split the deck the holy spirit is speaking clearly today i hope that you all are catching on to this okay your trust in the most high your faith okay that is where your comfort needs to lie okay that is where all of our comfort needs to lie know that god can replace any of these things that we have this strong hunger and passion for, okay? God is wanting us to replace that and trust in God, okay? That everything that we need to give us this peace, we can find in God. The strength that we need in order to stop these addictions, we can find if we trust God, okay? To replace these people that no longer serve us or are not beneficial to us okay we need to trust in God God is the answer to all things confirmation with that bell going off right now okay but it takes work I'm feeling faith very strong okay it takes work and faith is something that's intentional it's not something that you're just going to do 
um, that's just going to come to you, okay? You have to work at it, okay? You have to spend more time connecting with your spirit guides, with God through prayer and meditation. Okay? God is lighting the way for us. With the illumination coming out, God is going to light the way for us. And for a lot of us, God is already lighting the way. Okay? Sometimes our addiction and our the things that we want, we are blinded by and we don't see. Okay? So it's very important that we start taking heed to the many signs that we receive. This message being one of them for somebody here that is resonating with. Okay? It's very important that we start doing that. Paying a closer attention to the bright lights that are shining the intuitive nudges that we're getting okay sorry about that y'all i'm back i had to grab myself something to drink okay but with this illumination card this is god just shining a light giving us that nudge letting us know what it is that we should be working on what it is that we should be changing or what we need to stop doing or start doing okay so we need to be paying close attention to these things okay let's see there one there's one more card here holy spirit please guide me to what you want the collector to know i felt it i'll bring it back around Okay, with isolation coming up, this is bringing me back to this reflection card, okay? This is about going within. This is giving me the hermit card, self-introspection, spending time alone, just you and God, okay? Because some of these habits, some of these addictions, some of these things that we are uh, stuck on, it's going to take some real serious, intentional, deep introspection for us, okay? Okay? So God is saying, just close yourself off to these things and people and spend time with me. This is what God is saying. Go within, spend time with me. Okay. Holy Spirit, what else? Okay, they wanted me to get some tarot. I want just a moment to take a drink. Excuse me. <clears throat> See, the devil is busy. The devil doesn't want us working on ourselves, cutting out these low vibrational addictions and habits that we have. If we can stay stuck in these areas, the devil can continue to use us or try to start using us. That's why my throat starts to close up. The devil hates it when we start getting ourselves together, okay? Six of Wands. When we start being successful, we start trusting God and doing the right things, the devil gets pissed, okay? Two of Cups. The devil wants to partner with you. <laughs> the devil wants to partner with us, okay? The devil wants us in these addictive states, okay? What happens when you start drinking or you know, getting high, and I'm not judging anybody. We have all been there, okay? I'm not judging anybody. But what happens when we start uh, connecting to these people that are not for us? We make bad decisions, right? And that's a win for the devil, okay? That's a win for the devil. The devil wants you to be connected, okay? We don't want that. God is trying to break that up. I just saw the six of swords. God is trying to remove us from these energies and take us into calmer waters. But we have to work with God. We have to trust God, okay? The only way we can stop with these addictions and bad habits and people's places and things that we know are not good for us is to partner with God. Okay? Look, hermit mode. Didn't I say the hermit card with this isolation? God is saying, go within, spend time with me, get to know me. Let's work on this thing together. Partnership, two of cups with God. Ace of swords, 
the most high is saying this message is true and on point okay and don't don't think that I'm, I'm i'm here judging and doing anything that's not my energy if you've been with me you know who i am but for those of you that are new no ma'am no sir okay i am just like you guys i am nothing special i am uh, merely a vessel for the most high god god is using my vessel to get these messages through okay but this same vessel has issues too i have stuff going on too i'm nowhere near perfect i've been through a lot i'm still going through things i'm still learning i have the same type of vices and things that i need to stop as well so god is speaking to me just like god is speaking to me through me <laughs> and to you through me as well okay so you if you stick around you'll see that I'm not one to point fingers at all. I just want to be the vessel that brings about uh, enlightenment, okay? To make us all aware of these things. And so that we can start working on changing the things that are not beneficial to us. Okay, so there was a reason why somebody here is, is uh, I'm picking up on the energy of somebody saying I'm judging or I'm pointing the finger at people and that's not me at all and you'll see it only time will show you who I truly am and that my intention is for all of us to break these habits and addictions off of us for good okay and we can only do that by exposing them okay acknowledging our flaws our faults what we have to work on and start doing it okay let me expose myself a little bit so y'all can understand okay I am needing to work on losing weight right now. That's something that's not easy for me. I've had a lot of um, surgeries um, that have caused some issues for me and that have prevented me from doing everything I need to do. And some of it is that, and some of it is me not doing what I need to do. When God continuously tells me, okay, you need to start doing this or you need to start doing that. I have not done everything God has asked me to do. God has nudged me. God has illuminated to me some things that I need to do, some things that can help me, okay? Um, for example, there's a reason why God is, I don't speak on my life unless God instructs me to, and I'm being instructed to now. So um, there are some more surgeries that I have to go back to do in order for me to get certain parts of my body to where I can work out okay I am uh I've spent two years back to back in and out going to have these procedures done for my health okay it gets to a point where you get tired of that so I ignored a lot of those nudges to go back to finish this or reopen this to fix that and I just got tired of it so that is part of the reason why I rapidly gained weight and I just didn't want to deal with that anymore but God is saying okay in order for you to get your body together you need to go back to the doctor you need to do these things you need to do even though it was going to be a healing process it's just a lot okay but I know that I'm not listening that's the bottom line of me explaining myself to you guys I haven't listened. I have not done everything God has asked me to do in order to get to the next step, okay? Um, so that is just to let you know that I'm no different from anybody else here, okay? I have stuff that I struggle with just like everybody else, but it's the illumination, right? It's the knowing. It's actually saying it, speaking it out, knowing these habits, knowing what you need to do and what you don't need to do. Okay, we got the three of wands on the bottom of the deck, right? Okay, we can't be waiting for a particular outcome if we haven't done the work. God is saying you can't expect, the three of wands is all about expectations. You can't expect to have these changes, these positive changes, if you don't do the work. Knight of wands, this is all about somebody who does the work, okay? God is really speaking right now.
man, don't feel bad. Look at the devil trying to, uh, <laughs> the devil is so busy. Ten of swords right here. It's like in my mind just now, I'm thinking like even just talking about this medical situation, these things that I know I need to do, but I feel like <sighs> it's going to create a lot of issues for me just to go through it's like how do you set yourself up to go in to have surgeries that you know are going to put you down for a bit you know what I mean in order for you to heal from it you're going to be down for a bit right and so I'm thinking about how that's going to stop everything that was nothing but the devil okay when you expose these things like I'm sharing myself with you guys right now okay that pisses the devil off so what does the devil do the devil tries to get into your head and make you feel like uh think about all the negative things all the painful part of it okay the devil is a, a lie i rebuke you in jesus name i know god is in control of this because i trust god and i know what i'm being led to do so we're gonna pray for each other okay we're going to surrender Queen of Cups to God. We're going to trust. And we're going to do the work. Okay. We're going to start getting busy. All of us. And we can start by writing the things down that we need to do. Just like <laughs> God gave us that message at the top of the read in the book about writing things down. It's no, it's no uh, coincidence, y'all. That's how God works. Okay. So I know there's several things that I need to do because in order for me to even do the workouts and things that I really need to do, I have to go back and finish this medical work on my body so that I can sustain and do the exercises. So I'll be doing that today, making my list of things I need to do, things I need to stop doing. I'm right here with y'all. I just, yeah. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Okay, look, I'm telling y'all, I'm right here with y'all, okay? This is us, okay? And once we do the work, we gonna win, okay? It might not be easy. We got each other, though. This is my, you guys are my family. I care. I'm not out here just trying to do anything but be a vessel for God to get these messages out. And today... God really is speaking to me just the same. I hope that you guys see by what I'm sharing with you guys just who I am, okay? Because this could, you know, people are cruel out here in these streets. They could start saying stuff, but I don't care. I don't care. My father loves me just as I am. My divine mother loves me just as I am. My spirit guides love me just as I am. So that, that doesn't bother me. I don't worry about people because... That doesn't mean anything. But, I mean, people could say a lot, you know. But it's the illumination, okay? And it's God saying, yes, work together, okay? You will win, okay? We're going to be all right. We just got to do the work, okay? And we have to keep each other encouraged. And that's why I'm here. That's all. That's my, look at this. Do the work back on the bottom of the deck, okay? God is saying, I'm protecting you. I got you, okay? You put in, I put in. You put in the work, God's going to put in the work, okay? Look at this. Speak, Holy Spirit. Two of Cups. We are partnering with God, okay? When we do that, we will be secure, successful, stable okay we'll have everything that we need look at this person's this image of this person this person is content at peace okay I'm not confused this is the devil wanting us to be confused wanting us to choose all of these other options when it's clear that this is the only one that's the most obvious okay this is this will be represented by the most high okay but the devil wants us all up and around here everywhere but where we're supposed to be okay this is about our healing the four swords okay going within this is another form of hermit they're saying they're telling me right now just going within okay allowing ourselves to be cradled 
And then that's to the most high God, okay? Trusting. Trusting God, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay. God is using the high priestess card here to say, okay, look. You know I've been telling you. I've been sending you these nudges. High priestess gets these intuitive messages, right? I've been sending you these messages. I've been trying to tell you that you need to start or stop doing this or that, okay? You need to start listening, okay? That's why the high priestess is showing up, okay? King of Wands, they're telling me to go off the back of the cards after I shuffle them, so I'm just being obedient. King of Wands, this is an action taker, okay? God is saying, what did I tell you to do? get busy with the king of wands this is a person that's ambitious driven takes action okay knows what they need to do and they do it okay two of cups right here right illumination right here tower right here yes this may not be easy okay sometimes partnering with god is hard because you got to do what's right you got to go against the grain you got to do that thing that you've been avoiding because something else might feel better temporarily okay so yes there may be a tower just like i was saying with my situation my tower is going back to have more operations more surgeries that is going to leave me in this recovery period for some time okay but god is saying this is a tower that you need once you heal if you trust me God is saying, once you heal, then you can move forward with your regimen to start doing the work to work out to get yourself in a more healthier position. Okay? This all boils down to trust, trusting God. So do I trust God and go ahead through with this, partner with God, allow this tower to come, okay, and then get to this place where I'm comfortable, where I'm content with where I am, where my body is more healthy, okay? Healthy body, healthy mind, healthy spirit, okay? For you, your situation may be different, okay? Just for example, someone here may have a situation where they're drinking a lot, okay? Or they're smoking a lot, okay? And you are not able to get the type of employment that you really want or step into your purpose fully because of that okay so there's a lot of contingency i'm feeling right now it's like your success where is success they just guided me to it yeah thank you holy spirit your success in a certain situation is contingent upon one you trusting god and partnering with god okay and then allowing this power to come Okay, towers are not always negative. Although it may hurt, the tower is, is something abrupt that brings about some change in your life. And I feel that for all of us, this change is necessary, okay? So, we got to let these towers come. Because on the other side of that tower is a new beginning. I'm seeing the Ace of Wands, okay? I'm seeing the Ace of Wands right now. So, Holy Spirit, what else do we need before we close the message? <clears throat> yep, surrender. God is reminding us that we need to surrender. Look at this. Move, chariot, in a new direction, okay? What was the top of this read about in the book, okay? Writing things down doing the things that we need to do okay all about habit forming new habits okay moving in a new direction ace of swords this message is on point true and correct there's, a, I, there's not only a few of us there's a lot of us that god is saying this message is for myself included okay there's so much that you know can Take action. <laughs> God is really speaking right now. So I really hope that this message is helping you and not putting you in this. Because see, the devil, the devil wants us to, like right now, my mind is trying to 
list all the reasons, okay? God started off in the excerpt with us writing down a list of things, right? So now the devil is trying to form a list in my head of negativity, of doubt, of reasons why I don't need to do this medical surgeries and all of this stuff, all the, all the reasons why it can go wrong, okay? The devil is a lie, 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 okay? Mm -mm. Don't allow the devil to get into your head. We got the, de the lies right here, but the truth right here, okay? No. We are not trying to hear that, devil. You are rebuked and bound and cast back to the pit of hell where you belong. Because we are going to start planting these positive seeds. We are going to start taking these positive actions so that we can grow and be the people that God is wanting us to be. That God knows we can be. What else, Holy Spirit? They're saying there's one more card here. <laughs> Walk away from these bad habits walk away from fear doubt any type of negativity anything that you have in your mind that you feel you know you're being nudged you know God is speaking to you about stopping doing whatever this is or starting to do whatever you need to do walk away from that Let's really be intentional. And God is saying there was a reason why God started led me to that excerpt because it all starts with uh, acknowledgement and illumination, justice on the bottom of the deck. God is wanting us to understand that we are going to be balanced out. Our lives are going to be balanced out. Okay. If we trust and we start doing the work. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. This may take a long time, okay? God is saying just get started because the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving energy, okay? But there's always progression. There's always a little bit of effort put in every day, okay? To do whatever this is you need to do. And you will. The Knight of Pentacles is the only knight in the deck that actually accomplishes the goal that they have set for themselves okay it may take a long time slow and steady wins the race i'm hearing okay so god is just wanting us to start with writing things down that we need to handle and also the excerpt said what it is that you like about yourself what 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 you like about who you are okay thank you holy spirit for reminding me of that because god doesn't want this to be a list of your flaws and what you don't like about yourself god wants you to have a complete reflection of who you are thank you holy spirit for reminding me of who you are okay so that you can see the difference between who you are and who you want to be okay Throughout this process, your reflection is going to change is what I'm hearing, okay? Because the things and people and places that you need to uh, put a rest to, and the rest here, I think is here. Holy Spirit, is it here? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, God was saying put a rest to those things. Your reflection is going to be completely different. You're going to look at yourself down the line six months to a year from now. And you're going to look and feel and be completely different, okay? The only way that this can happen is if you first trust in the Most High God, okay? Trust in God, trust in your divine purpose, and trust in yourself and know that you can do this, okay? So that was the message. Uh, they do want me to give you a message from Archangel Michael. I love you guys so much. And together we can do this, okay? So stick around if this content is helping you or you are vibing with it. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. Please hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Look at this. What did I just say? Trust in your divine purpose. God is really speaking, okay? Synchronicities, okay? This is the 34. 
which breaks down to a seven, okay? That's about divinity. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth, okay? Make a decision, okay? This is God with the scales. Again, the bottom of the deck ended off with the justice card right here. Okay, this message is really lining up. I really hope y'all following me. It says, make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it, okay? God is saying you are going to have everything you need. You deserve to have everything that you need. But you have to believe that you deserve it for one and you have to trust that God is bringing that to you okay I love you guys so much you need to rebuke that devil because I feel the energy of doubt surging through right now as I'm getting ready to close this message okay don't allow the devil to take you off of the path that you know God has for you okay God has a very divine purpose for your life there's something you meant to be you're meant to be doing okay but we got to do the work we got to get past this tower that's going to come okay but it's a good tower it's not a bad tower it may be painful it may not look good in the beginning but it's meant to break us down in the areas that we don't that we're weak and that we're allowing addiction to take over to only to rebuild us okay so that we can come out on top content secure happy okay and get this win that god has for us okay i love you guys so very much okay no doubt no devil okay no doubt no devil somebody type that in the comments below no doubt no devil okay because we are partnering with the most high god we don't play them games over here if we got to do the work if it got to hurt a little bit that's what it is but we're going to get past it no weapon formed against us shall prosper okay let's go ahead and cleanse this energy out because i feel this nasty funky devil trying to come in and trying to put doubt in our minds and we are not having it so uh, I usually don't pray at the end of the reading, but God is leading me to now because this is very serious. Our, all of our situations are going to be different, okay? Some of us, you know, like myself, have to work on medical stuff and health stuff. Some of us have, uh, you know, other addictions and vices that we have trouble shaking off. Some of us are in abusive relationships that we shouldn't be in. It's going to be tons of different situations. And it may it may not be that serious for everyone. It may be somebody needs to do more studying or less partying or whatever the situation is. Only you know what your situation is. But we about to pray that off in Jesus' name, okay? Mm -mm. Everybody take a deep breath in and out. We bind and block you, Satan, in Jesus' name. You have no power, no power, no power in Jesus' name. We do not give you permission to enter into this reading. We close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. We are protected by the Most High God. We will be successful in our ventures, partnering with the Most High God. We will complete every task that the Most High God sets out for us in Jesus' name. We return to sender any negative energy, negative spirits, demonic energies or entities. Anything that will come against the work of the Most High God is cast out and returned to sender. We transmute the energy into love, light, and positivity. And so it is. Ashe.
Most High God, we close this reading out and seal it with your faith, your love, your guidance and protection. Please and thank you. Ashe. Peace and blessings, family. I love you guys so much. Let's get to work. Let's go.